Hey guys, just going to do a quick review here, um, reaction if you will to night one of Wrestlemania 37. It was my first time watching Wrestlemania on my 4K uh, television, my 32 inch uh, Samsung 4K um, with the QLED in it. Uh, but anyway, I thought, you know, night one for WWE was great. It was terrific. I honestly, the added addition of the fans and the... Um, the reaction, the emotion that they showed was was definitely what a lot of people said. It was it was the one thing that was missing from WWE uh, this whole time. Not just WWE, but all wrestling. So, you know, um, you know, that really helped out in a big, big way. I mean, they gave everybody a reaction, you know, a pop, whatever you want to call it. They gave everybody that. And it was just it just felt for once, for once, I'll be honest with you, it felt like a WrestleMania. It felt truly like a WrestleMania. And this is just night one. We can only imagine what night two is going to be like tomorrow on a traditional pay-per-view Sunday, which WrestleMania is associated with. Uh, but just to go down the, the lineup real quickly uh, of the matches. Um, first of all, you know, they had a great opening with Vince McMahon coming out along with the roster, thanking the crowds, you know, talking to them, you know, talking to them about what's been happening over the past year and, you know, that, you know, it was them, the fans that kept the superstars going, you know, and that, you know, this is, you know, the moment they've been waiting for. And, you know, it was a great opener, you know, great, you know, opening and welcoming, welcoming package, you know, by Vince, you know, welcoming everybody to Raymond James and also to WrestleMania. Um, on top of that, um, uh, what else? Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> so we started WrestleMania, you know, after all that. They did they did the welcoming. They did America the Beautiful. Um, but then after that, you know, after they, you know, do, you know, they have Vince welcoming us along with the roster on stage and then America the Beautiful. You know, after, did, after they did all that, uh, basically, you know, they give us the package, the video package, which is kind of like... Uh, a repurposed kind of re redoing of last year's opening uh, package for for WrestleMania, pretty much similar but different. And then, guess what? They start off, you know, the fireworks go off and everything. Guess what happens? They get a rain delay. And the reason they get a rain delay is because the weather there is, you know, they got thunderstorms going on. They have thunderstorms, rainy weather. Um, everything going on and this is the second time that Raymond James Stadium today or tonight um, had to be evacuated because there was lightning in the area and it's always a tradition you know in any big time events that you know once um, you see lightning in the vicinity you have to you know shut down for at least a half hour so anyway a uh, long story short though uh, it took about 30 35 minutes and finally, Mania started, and it started off well with the um, WWE Championship, which definitely lived up to being what the WWE Championship is about, out, especially when it's out on the line at WrestleMania. Great back and forth between Bobby and, and Drew, uh, Drew McIntyre. And what's ironic is I was looking on social media while I was watching, and I saw that Impact Wrestling um, had put up on Twitter, or at least on the YouTube page as well, um, the match between McIntyre and Lashley from Slammiversary. So, yeah, I guess basically they're trying to say that Lashley and, you know, McIntyre are the only wrestlers out of both companies to perform at two of the big-time signature events for both companies or something like that. Anyway, anyway, to get get on track here, the, the match was pretty good. The match was definitely, you know, worthy of being a WWE Championship match, definitely you know, lived up to its built. And uh, in the end, they went with Bobby Lashley. But the way they did it was they had MVP distract uh, Drew by sh shouting at Lashley. This was enough for Lashley to be able to um, get out of the way of a Claymore kick and then lock in the Hurt Lock, uh, the Full Nelson, which Drew passed out from. He didn't tap, he passed out from, which kind of tells me we're going to get a rematch at the next pay-per-view between Lashley and Drew and uh, it's going to probably be in some kind of gimmick match to where like MVP won't try to be won't be a factor or something like that. I don't really know. 
but yeah, they went with uh, they went with Lashley uh, regaining uh, the championship. Just checking my time here. Regaining the championship. Then we had the tag team turmoil match uh, with the winner with with the winners would face Nia and Shayna tomorrow night. And um, you know it was it was all right. It, it was kind of the it was basically the kind of match that should have been put on SmackDown uh, yesterday. And kind of I I, get, I would say that people would agree that they should have took this match, put it on SmackDown, and put the SmackDown tag team title match, put it on uh, tonight. Uh, but anyway, it was it was okay. Uh, in the end, Natalia and Tamina won. So, you know, the match between Tamina and Nia from SmackDown kind of just basically teased what we're going to get tomorrow. Uh, then we had, what else did we have? We had Cesaro and Seth Rollins in a great match. Two ROH Ring of Honor alumni going at it. And Cesaro won, pulled out all the stops, including the UFO and everything. And in the end, he won. Cesaro beat Seth Rollins. Uh, which was a good decision. Looks like they're going to build him up to face whoever may be the Universal Champion down the line, or maybe even whoever's the Intercontinental Champion. Uh, then they had the New Day face uh, AJ Styles and Omos. And what was funny here is, and a lot of people pointed this out, is that the New Day were acting like heels. So we're not sure if they were doing a double turn or what was going on. Because basically when AJ finally tagged to Omos, it's like the New Day just... You know, they just flip the you-know-what because they're like, oh, crap, this is not what we wanted. And he just looked like a monster out there. He looked like a star, looked like a monster. And in the end, Omos and AJ win. And the way they do it is they have Omos hits this standing, like, power bomb thing. Where basically it's like he picks up guys and just throws them down in some kind of power bomb way. And then he put a foot on Kofi, one, two, three, to win the match in the tag team titles. Thus, AJ becomes a Grand Slam champion. Uh, then we had, I think, Strowman and Shane in a in a decently very in a decently good uh, steel cage match, which saw Shane get thrown off the top of the cage by Strowman, and then Strowman go back into the cage instead of climbing out, hit the power slam and win, and it was actually pretty good. And there was a moment in there where you know Shane was mocking Strowman trying to escape, and Strowman got up, ripped the cage, the fencing, to pull Shane back in. And uh, and that and that led to like I said Shane being tossed off and everything. So, you know, yeah, it was you know it was pretty pretty good visual. Then we had Bad Bunny and Damian Priest beat John Morrison in the Miz and Bad Bunny silenced a lot of critics. Uh, he hit a Canadian destroyer uh, on you know on the floor uh, on John Morrison. You know, really really showed that he did take you know his practicing and everything seriously. And in the end, uh, he ended up winning the match. And then we had the, um, I think it was, yeah, we had the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Sasha Banks and Bianca. Definitely lived up to its hype. Great back and forth, classic. And in the end, history was made, not just with them being, you know, the two first, the first two female black women to do this on Main Event Mania, but history was made with Bianca winning and becoming SmackDown Women's Champion. And it was just great. She even the way she did it, she brought back the whip she she used to do in NXT, whipped, you know, Sasha right in the gut, led to a KOD, and that was it. So overall, night one of WrestleMania was pretty good. Night two's got a lot to live up to. But let me know what your thoughts are. Comment down below. I'd love to hear from each and every one of you. And I am out.